less than ideal working conditions today. Man, it is coming down. Ah, oh, dang it. It was just drying off. All right, guys, got one side on, halfway plumbed. It's gonna aim straight down and blow through there. Now the other side, we have a bit of a challenge, you know, a little bit of a problem. So we got the down pipe. Everything's real tight in here. Got our hole made, so be able to weld that up, no problem. And basically, I wanna keep these somewhat even where they're at and the same length. That way everything's a little bit more efficient, just more equal. So when it flows out, the path of least resistance goes up. You can't fight that no more or get out no more. It'll go back through the turbo. So I'm gonna have to put this pipe back on, put that where I need it and tack it while the pipe is on. And then we'll be good to go and finish welding it up. And yeah, finish plumbing everything, set up the Mac valves, get the compressor running, and do the tuning. And then we can try doing some two-step stuff. See if we can build some boosts. find the other piece but found the other piece Whew. All right. now I can rest assured that I'm not gonna destroy my uh, exhaust turbine <laughs> Got a temporary setup with a pressure sensor on the wastegate and they're plumbed together in one line. So the pressure on both wastegates should be what we're looking for. It'll balance out. So if there's 30 PSI on that one, that one's also getting 30 PSI basically. And we got, like I said, temporary setup. I got some leaks I gotta figure out, not a big deal, but the increase solenoid is doing what it's supposed to. This is the decrease. Compressor's kicking on now. I'm going to get in the car, fire it up, get on the trans brake, and see if this will uh, build some boost. taking forever to build boost and part of that is the engine size compared to the turbo the other part is need to make sure that there's zero boost leaks no boost leaks anywhere no dome pressure leaks just all tight and then i can confirm if i need a new converter or not or if i need to spray nitrous with spray nitrous Number one, 
probably won't be able to hear it, but the screw is leaking. I do not know where it's leaking, but it's leaking. I'm going to take it off, take it apart, and find out why it's leaking. All right, good news. This side, the diaphragm was blowing out because I had all the bottom ports blocked. So when the plunger goes in and out, the air didn't have anywhere to go. So it pops the, the uh, diaphragm out. So that wastegate has been wide open this whole time. Um, so that's good news because I also put a heavier spring in it, so it just keeps it pinched a little bit better. Now it doesn't leak. Now I'm gonna put a heavier spring in the other side, and we should actually see some really good results because that's a big leak to have when you're trying to build boost. I don't even know how it built the boost it built, so that's promising. Well, all right guys, it looks like uh, the next move is gonna be putting nitrous on it so we can put nitrous on it so we can get up on that chip uh, way faster. And we can also go to a higher RPM to build more boost. So, yep, this torque converter is a 3600 stall, but with uh, the 4.8 behind it, it doesn't have enough bottom end torque to really fight through that, it's too tight for a 4.8. If you had like a six liter behind it, it'd probably blow right through that um, and flash up pretty high. It's uh, just is what it is. You can get a different torque converter, you can get a different engine, you can try a different cam that builds more torque early on, but then it'll hurt you on the top end, stuff like that. There's so many directions you can go, but it's cheaper to get nitrous opposed to a converter and we might have to swap the converter anyways because it could actually hurt the um could lift heads cause it to lift heads on the shift and it could also bend rods on the shift it all depends when it shifts if it's too tight and drops too much rpm it's just way too much on the engine so um we'll have to figure that out when we start test driving this and whatnot but uh, I'll show you guys all that cool stuff, so don't worry about it. We're gonna go with nitrous first, just cause it's cheap and easy, and I, who doesn't wanna just have a big turbo car that also has nitrous? <laughs> all right guys, it's been a long weekend. Um, this video you probably can't tell, but it was a lot of effort. That Probably nine or 10 separate trans brake pulls, but I just showed you guys the good ones and poor ones. All right. I will catch you guys in the next one.